Hello students, in this video I am going to talk about logic gates. Let us start with the logic gates. We have multiple different types of logic gates available. NOT gate, AND gate, OR gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR gate, XNOR gate. First of all, these three gates are known as the basic gates, NOT gate, AND gate, OR gate. The next two gates are known as universal gates, NAND gate, NOR gate and finally the remaining two gates are known as exclusive gates, exclusive OR gate and exclusive NOR gate. Let us first of all start with basic gates. First is NOT gate. Now NOT gate is the only gate in which only one input is allowed. Minimum number of input 1, maximum number of input is also 1. The Boolean expression, it is represented as A dash or A bar. This is how it is also represented. The logic symbol A, A bar which is X. So now what is NOT gate? NOT gate is also known as inverter which is going to invert the input signal. Right now as I have only one input, so how many combinations will be written is given with the help of formula 2 raised to power of n, where n is number of inputs. So right now we have one input, so 2 raised to power of n is equal to 2. So only two combinations will be there, 0 and 1. So when input is 0, output is 1. When input is 1, output is 0. This is known as NOT gate. By the definition, if the input value for a NOT gate is 0, the output will become equal to 1. Similarly, if the input value is 1, the output becomes equal to 0. Sometimes it is also referred to as inverter because it actually inverts the input value. Next gate, AND gate. So, AND gate is going to have minimum number of inputs to be equal to 2. But we can have maximum number of inputs to be equal to n. So, let us start with the example of 2 input AND gate. AND is represented by multiplication or dot. That is A dot B. This is the logic symbol diagram. Finally, the truth table. So again, the formula with the help of which the number of combinations will be decided as 2 raised to power of n. Now n is equal to 2. So it comes out to be equal to 4. So let us start writing down the truth table. First of all, total 4 combinations are there. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So that means 2 zeros, 2 ones. After which 2 divided by 2 that is equal to 1 that is 0 1 0 1 once we are going to write down after which the final truth table as this is going to behave as a multiplying factor that is multiplication 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 and 1 1 1 that means when all the inputs are 1 then only the output will become equal to 1 in all the remaining cases output will become equal to 0 Next is OR gate. So basically OR gate is represented with the help of this plus and this is the logic symbol of our OR gate. Again in OR gate minimum number of inputs can be 2 and maximum number of inputs can be n value where n is an integer. So let us start writing down the truth table. Now again I have 2 inputs so 4 combinations will be written. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 in the same manner which I have discussed for AND gate. Now in OR gate as this is plus, plus means either value. So if any value is 1, output will become equal to 1. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 
1. So that means if minimum 1 input is 1, output will definitely becomes equal to 1. Also we can define OR gate as when all the inputs are 0, then output is 0. Rest in all the cases, output is 1. Next is NAND gate. So now NAND gate is the reverse of AND gate. So basically it is a combination of AND gate with NOT gate. Now you can actually see it over here. This is AND gate and this bubble represents your NOT gate. So this is your NAND gate. So this is going to have the inverse output as we have got in the case of AND gate. In AND gate we have got 0, 0, 0, 1. But now in the case of NAND gate, we are going to have 1, 1, 1 and 0. That means the output of AND gate has been given to NOT gate, thus to get NAND gate. Exactly in the same manner, we are going to have NOR gate. So NOR gate is the combination of OR gate with NOT gate. So this bubble is representing NOT gate. A plus B dash or A plus B whole bar. The meaning is same. Now let us talk about the output truth table. Output truth table is now going to have the inverse value from OR gate. In OR gate we were having 0, 1, 1, 1. But in the case of NOR gate, it is going to invert that is 1, 0, 0 and 0. Here comes the exclusive gates. The first exclusive gate is XOR gate also known as EXOR gate or exclusive OR gate. So this is its boolean expression A X or B and it is also represented as A B bar plus A bar B. So this is the boolean expression for XOR gate. This is the logic diagram for XOR gate. Finally, truth table. Just by inserting the values in this given boolean expression, you will be able to get the truth table. So the first case is when A is 0, B is 0. After substituting the values in this boolean expression, you will be able to get 0, then 1, then 1 and finally 0. So this is your XOR operation. So first case is 0 dot 0 bar plus 0 bar dot 0. So 0 dot 1, 0 bar is 1. Again 0. Similarly, 0 bar that is 1. 1 dot 0 is 0. And 0 plus 0 that is 0. So similarly, you can find out all the remaining values as well for XOR gate. So XOR gate, exclusive OR gate. So as per the XOR gate, when the input is same, output is 0. When it is opposite to each other, then the output is 1. And XOR gate is just having a one single difference from OR gate. That is the last remaining value. When all the inputs are high, in OR gate, the output is high. Whereas in XOR gate, the output is 0. Finally, the last one, XNOR gate. Now you can have a look. XNOR gate is nothing but the combination of XOR with NOT gate. The bubble is representing NOT gate. And this is the final Boolean expression for the same. A dot B plus A bar dot B bar. And how you will be able to fill the entries over here? Either you can use the Boolean expression, substitute the values, then you will be able to find out the final output Y. Or you can directly take the outputs from XOR gate that was 0, 1, 1, 0 and write down its invert value 1, double 0, 1 so this is your XNOR gate let us take one more example having multiple different inputs right now we have just discussed all the cases with the minimum number of inputs 2 but I have already informed you that we can have the maximum number of input to be equal to n Yes, except not gate. So let us discuss one example of AND gate having three inputs. So first of all, let us talk about the combinations. So 2 raised to the power of n, that is 2 
2 raised to power of 3 comes out to be equal to 8. So first of all, how you will be able to write down the truth table? 4 zeros, 4 ones, 2 zeros, 2 ones, and finally 0 1. As per the definition of AND gate, when all the inputs are high, output is high. In all the remaining cases, output is 0. So this is how you will be able to fill the truth table for multiple inputs in the case of logic gates except not gates.